what's up guys I'm Xavier Elon I go over hack rank and leak code tutorials so check out my sub channel and subscribe if you haven't already um, today I'm going over array manipulation on hacker rank so starting with a one indexed array that's pretty important of zeros in a list of operations for each operation add value to each of the array element between two given indices inclusive once all operations have been performed return the maximum value in your array so basically, <clears throat> um, it's a little confusing at first. A is the start index, B is the end index, and through those indices, they want us to add the value K and to go through all of these three uh, iterations. So, and then from four to eight, we wanna add seven. So they add three here first, one through five, and then they add seven at um, four through eight, so 10. That's why three plus seven is 10. And then lastly, they do six through nine is one. Um, so my first thought was to just do loop through it all and do each of them, but it times out, it's too long, I guess. It's like O of N squared, but it, the numbers are huge. So it's like way higher than that. Um, so um, I'm gonna draw this out on the whiteboard, this so. Uh, this is the example we're going to go over five three so um i don't know how you'd come up with this on your own unless you're like really smart or you just i feel like you just have to have seen it or read about it somewhere but the so the way we're going to solve this is so the first uh iteration is the start is one so let's add 100 there and it ends at two so we're going to subtract 100 at um, end plus one index. And so we're gonna do that for all of them. And the end is five, so we subtract 100 from here. And <clears throat> three, and negative 100 at five. So, and then we just sum them out zero negative 100 so those are the sums and then we just add them so we add them along so this is a hundred this is 200 this is 200 200 and 100 so the max would be 200 and the reason this works is it's basically saying okay these numbers one through two have 100 in it but as soon as you hit three and after, they don't have 100 in it, so subtract 100. Take it out because they're no longer there. Um, and that's why this works. Uh, you just kind of have to think about it. I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, so, all right, so now let's just code this out. Um, a key thing that I didn't catch for my first time is that this is a long, so they want us to return a long. Um, it won't work otherwise I was trying to return it int so let's create our array oh <laughs> what am I doing um, result and then we just need um, so length was queries dot length and we need to set our max to oops it's supposed to be a long so you did it again equals um, long dot min value yeah that's right and so now we just need to loop through um, the length of the queries so And so now we need to set the um, the end, the start. So we have start and what we're gonna add. And um, yeah, that's all we're gonna set for now. So we have to look at it. The start is stored at queries i 
i zero and because it's one indexed the array that they give us um we have to subtract one and same for end we have to subtract one and add is the third or second index <clears throat> and then we have to set result or result yeah result start plus equals add and if um, n plus one is less than n so basically this is checking out of if it's because uh, this is the part where we're adding or subtracting the addition where it ends um, we have to check if it's out of bounds because like in the one example it went out of bounds at six so we don't want to actually do that we'll get an error so if n plus one is less than n result n plus one um, minus equals our ad, ad integer and I believe that's it and and then so and so now we just have to add um, add the numbers in the array the result array so we're gonna set i equal to one first because we're going to add the previous and um, the one after it so I'll, it'll make more sense in a second oops so result i is going to be set to we don't even need to set um, the zeroth index because it's already it's just whatever it was already um, so we're just adding it along the numbers that I showed right here basically down here we're adding these so I so this is the first index so result I equals um, actually it's plus equals result I minus one and then we're just going to set the max each time um, max uh, and result I and that's it and oops and we just return result and so hopefully that works hopefully that explanation made sense uh, and so the runtime is just O of N because we're just looping through once and space complexity is O of N because of the actually it's O of one In these test cases, oh, int long result. Um, oh, it's supposed to return max, that's why. <laughs> I'm so used to returning the array. All right, sweet, and it worked. So hopefully that made sense. Um, let me run through it one more time. We basically set all our values. We create our long array, um, set all our values. We're gonna loop through the length of the queries, which is, um, you know, three here. And we're gonna add, we're gonna do the addition. So we're adding at the start and subtracting at the end. And then we're just adding along on the addition. And this is the result we get and we're just checking the max along each way. Um, so hopefully that made sense. Hopefully it explained it for some of you guys because I know this one can be a little bit hard. Um, thanks for watching.